Hi there, my name is Roxana Vina from Alucina, France. Hi, Amanda. How challenging was it to be part of this movie adapt, ad, ad, adaptation of a famous Broadway musical? Um, it was definitely nerve wracking um, because the musical is so beloved and the character is beloved and there's been so many talented people who played this character. Um, and I'm not from the world of Broadway. I'm not a, a trained singer. Uh, and so I was so nervous um, coming to the table, you know, with my skill level uh, and, and hoping that I would fit into the larger world of Dear Evan Hansen. Um, but it was an amazing challenge and incredible to work with the songwriters and our music supervisor and rehearse the song over and over and pre-record it and then eventually sing it live and see it come to the screen and everything. It's, it's such a cool process. So what is this film truly about for you? The themes and the messages, what is it about? Um, this film for me, I think is about universal human experience. Um, you know, our capitalist society isn't set up in a way that allows us to prioritize or censor our well-being, especially our mental health. Um, and mental health is not something that we give as much weight to as we do physical health, even though it's just as important. Um, and so this film to me is about kind of breaking past some of those walls that stop us from having those conversations and recognizing that mental illness or depression or anxiety or whatever it may be um, are universal experiences that way more people than maybe you would even think or are dealing with um, and that we're not alone in those feelings and it's okay to talk about them. Not, not even just okay, but it's important and it's normal to talk about it. And uh, and you don't have any less value as a, as a human being just because you're, you're dealing with some sort of mental health issue. How difficult is it today for teenagers to find their own voice? And do you think it's getting better and that a film like this can help with the conversation? Um, I think teenagers are, nowadays are really good at finding their voices. Um, I think they're way smarter than us. <laughs> I think they're way smarter than us and intrinsically just way more aware um, and have such formulated senses of identity and also a really funny sense of humor around their struggles with mental illness. There's this really kind of amazing nihilism and sarcasm they have around it. So I actually think that they're really good at talking about what they're going through and they're really good on formulating their perspective in the world. Um, I actually feel like it's kind of like older people who are not as good at having conversations about mental health or normalizing having conversations about mental health. Um, and I think it's like kind of parents that need to do maybe some more of the work around making their kids feel safe to talk about that, yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.